in the next time try this segment. Today we take a look at something that you might overlook until, well, until you get your top end off and then at that point you can address it. But your reed valve. Very, very interesting little unit, the reed valve. A lot of times people will change the reed pedals. They get weak after years of opening and closing. But even before that, sometimes a bike may be sitting for a while and there are stops that are on that reed valve cage. And you can see them right there. The stops look rusty. They can get rusty over sitting for a period of time. And it's something that if you're maybe going to fire up a bike that hasn't been ridden in quite some time, you might want to take it off and check those uh, stops to see if they're rusty. You wouldn't want some big flakes of rust or anything getting down in there in your cylinder to cause any further damage or maybe any damage at all if there hasn't been any done. So you always want to check that. In the next picture, we'll look at how a reed valve should really, really look. They're nice and clean. The stops are absolutely mint and perfect. And you've got those four little screws up there. Actually, there's eight. There's four on that size. There's four on the other. Some only have two. Some have four. You want to make sure that if you change those pedals, those reed pedals, you want to make sure that you use a good screwdriver to get those things out. You don't want to strip them. They're very small and they can be very difficult to get out. Also, when you put them back in, because they are so tiny, a lot of times you can't get uh, a good bite on them with a screwdriver. You might want to put a little Loctite on those screws when you put them back in. So replace the pedals. Make sure you got a good set in there. Check the stops. Make sure they're not rusty and pay careful attention to the screws. When you're taking them out, if you strip them, replace them. If they're in good condition, make sure they're clean. Put them back in with a little bit of Loctite because there is a gap around that reed block where it sits in your engine. If one of those things come loose, guaranteed your top end will be history in that bike. Pay attention to that. Next time you got that top end off, make sure everything is in order. Next time, try that.